Hi everyone, this is Rick with RAM Mounts, and today I'd like to introduce you to the RAM Pinlock Security Nut Accessory for any D-size 2 quarter inch double ball and socket mounting system, as well as any E-size 3.38 inch double ball and socket mounting system. As you can see, these mounts have a relatively larger handle on the knob portion, and so this knob allows you to give extra torque when tightening these down because these are designed for any rugged or extreme environments. So instead of offering a locking knob that replaces these high torque knobs, RAM offers a security nut that goes into the existing knobs so you can get thorough and effective theft deterrence into your existing mount while still having that high torque function. So let's walk through the installation process to show exactly how the pinlock security nut connects to your RAM mount. Now the first thing to note is that there is nothing to disassemble from your current mounting system. You can keep this mounted on your boat, all the components intact, but you will be using a thin screwdriver during the installation. So the first thing to do is to fully tighten down the mount. You want to make sure that knob is fully tightened as far as you can get it. If you have a high torque wrench, such as the one provided here, this helps to give extra leverage and extra torque when tightening for any extreme environment. Once you have that fully tightened, you can then insert the security nut. And by doing this, you'll take the key that's provided with the security nut. As you can see, this has a pin lock pattern that corresponds with the pin lock pattern on the security nut. So you simply line those patterns up and then while holding those together, you insert into the opening of the knob where the threads are exposed. And you simply thread this in by hand. With a few turns, you should be able to get it in there. And you'll start feeling some tension because the security nut has jam threads that start locking up with the threads. So what you do at that point is you're gonna take the thin screwdriver you'll see that the key has a hole in the middle. Now with that hole, you're gonna insert the screwdriver inside of the hole, and now the screwdriver is gonna give you additional leverage when tightening that security nut in place. So then you line up the pin lock pattern and then continue tightening. You can tighten, it takes about a minute or so to get it through all the way. But once you have it in there, the jammed threads will start getting a little more easier when tightening and then you'll feel it fully lock up. Now the mount is fully locked in place, so even, no matter how you try loosening this knob, the security nut is keeping everything held together so you have ultimate theft deterrence with your mounting system. So you have peace of mind keeping your components where they are, even when unattended. Now another option with this is that you could loosen the security nut a bit so that you can adjust the components without actually being able to remove any of the components. So it still serves as a theft deterrent, even though you can still adjust the mount. By doing that, you simply loosen by one full turn on the security nut. Again, you want to use the screwdriver to give you the leverage that you need. With one full turn, you can then adjust the mount to the point of being able to adjust the components. With this example, I have to use the high torque wrench since I tightened down with the high torque wrench originally. So by doing that, 